Okay, I think the only thing that I don't like about it is I feel like it should be punishable more in the lane. And I think you are dead. You messed up. You performed. So what Weeha messed up on there is that the, he just rolled while the X was still got to do a new to you outlast. To, you have to watch the Kanka and wait for him to casting Torrent now. Yeah. And then you zip as Torrent. Because if he pulls you back, but he doesn't get that table thing. King RD, Winter's Curse, lay down to the Brewmaster, trying to get away from the Sunray, but he won't get away from Yapsor. Pounces once to get in his... 6-7 kill, Supernova going down, Brewmaster's gonna try and run in in time, and this is gonna be very dead Ogre, but now with Winter's Curse, they're gonna be able to catch up more. What a big pickup by Yapsor, allowing them to pick up two more kills, one on top of the other on HF and Link. Spear Vessel on him. He's just taking a lot of damage here. Black hole just for him. Sunray goes out with Jerk's Curse. Actually locking the two of them together. The big boat hits Did King RT, it? but now they're going to jump in, manage to get the Fire Spirits onto King RT. And he's going to take out the Spear Vessel, making sure that he can't really heal that much. They hole already, so there's and nothing stopping them from just running in. That's exactly what's going to happen. They're just going to keep on going to Supernova Pop to make sure they can't protect HF and we hung zipped in and zip right back out. They should be disengaged. Yeah, they're gonna buy back now. They might be able to catch this. The Storm Spirits looking to be able to slow down these heroes, but zip away again. Dive in. God, the dive is high ground. Okay. Weeha really committing now. Going for that Conko. Almost has him dead. And Sunray healing the spin by me. No! Weeha survives. The Ignite throwdown to him is gonna do a little bit more damage. Finally, Weeha comes in. Round two. Trying to kill Mid One. No, he's armor toggling. He survives with a midnight pull. Surely this time around. The they'll kill him. No, the gonna come in, Weeha's out of mad, he's gotta get out of here, he can't kill mid one! Yapsor, he blinks forward trying to catch Weeha, he knows he's out of mana now, and the Storm Spirit doesn't have the damage on the left hand side, we see the birds going at it once again, King RD versus the Phoenix. Oh, Yapsor also canceled his black hole, because yeah. I think he missed it, but it doesn't really matter as they are so far ahead of this, they forced all the buybacks in the world. You had to use your hole just to get on top of that out. Feels so good. Running at him once again. The Storm Spirit's gonna go into the back line. Deal with the Amsor first. He's the big carry of Team Secret at this point. He just can't quite do it fast enough. He has to expend a lot more mana to be able to get him. And now has to leave the rest of his cores behind as both the uh, Archangel as well. You're dead. And call GG before we uh, get caught. Awkward fight, but Zai does manage to get a good Rolling Thunder in to try and bounce up these heroes. Supernova going off. Weeha can't really protect it. It seems he's still dealing the with stun, that Rolling Thunder, but it's gonna get off. It happened, and the Deafening Blast came in, and King RD explodes on the Supernova, is able to get the damage on the Storm, but he's already dead. Dive on through. Yes, they managed to kill the Invoker, but it's looking like a terrible fight for Secret as now. They got Axe is dead. Zai's gonna move forward, trying to finish off King RD, but he's hit by the Impale as well. Oh, Sapped down by Tavo. Zai stop in for mid one. They're gonna be able to catch that Phoenix, but again, it is only small little Hero Sunstrike, it's been close. Mid one's almost dead, but Pain have given up on that fight because the mass buyback's coming in from Secret, and it looks like Pain just don't have the same amount of buyback. They're so they're trying to fight with Tavo. They do have another blast in. Here comes Weeha, he's got that tornado. All they need to do is make sure that the Morphling can't do it. It's a four on HFN, four. He's gonna be able to get vision inside the pit. The Rolling Thunder is going around. Oh, Misery just blew up almost instantly. Here comes that tornado. Gonna be able to stop the Centaur inside of that pit. Gets out the EMP as well. Bro, he's is so out of mana, low. But they need to be able to get away from Zai. He's doing so much damage. Sun Strike on through. It's mid one. Roshan still not dead. Trying to get it. It's on the knee. Just on the ground to get it. It managed to get it onto Nisha. That's a one fight now for Secret. As they're gonna push out and catch some more heroes. HFN's gonna be able to TP out. Misery won't have the same luxury, nor will we. He's gonna have to turn and fight some. But here comes a call from Yapsor. That'll stop him in his tracks. And Pain thought they could turn the game around with the Roshan fight, and they almost. He's never done the TP in. Oh no, Misery ran into a century, immediately oh, dueled up. The Rolling Thunder is going to be able to stop a lot of the fallout damage. Still okay. He's still going to run down into the Deafening Glass, but now the BKB is popped by Nisha, and everybody has to run away from that carry. On the other side, though, they get the call on Tavo. He's now dead. Nisha still pursuing, will be able to finish off that Invoker and deal with the egg in fashion. That is four dead on the side of Pain. Where's the Nimbus? DY getting caught a little bit.
They've got the shrine here for Vici Gaming. This looks like a hard fight with that egg, but or, they're going. Or, or he's showing top. This is where Maneski think they have a chance. Or he's top and they know it. They pinged him. Monkey King not quite available in this fight. He can jump over as the ogre. Saved up by the Golden Brace. Fade coming back with the Winter's Curse. Available. Who does he throw it onto though? JT running out of mana and, well, his HP not looking amazing. Marana shredded by the Blade Mail. Kills herself. Why are you hitting yourself? Paparazzi now dying in the back as well. He's got no Aegis. He's got no life, but he's got the Golden Brace. And maybe. No. 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 Dead and dead, but Maneski are losing more. Great for Mushi with a TP. They've got a stun. They've got the Winter's Curse to hold him in place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not? He's going to be dead anyway. The Winter's Curse is not that long cooldown. In the Monkey King, they pinged him. And there's the Thunderbolt. There's oh. the call. Down from the tree, he will fall, but the Cold Embrace with a nice Cataclysm. Oh, not going to catch too many there. Good dodges by Mineski. And Ori gets blown up. He does buy back as Yang takes down KP. That's a dieback from them. Phoenix falling over to the west, but they found They're the Zeus uh, to the east. Moon tries to TP with the Grave there, but the multicast fire blast will remove him from the game. Dead for two minutes, and this looks like it's it. Mineski with no buybacks, losing three heroes. I only have two alive. Thor. Moon's got more and more escape possibilities from this game, which has started to look pretty bad, but Mirana being caught. Oh, Avalanche doesn't quite connect there. And Moon's looking for a fight, but the RP skewer onto three. Oh, the chain stun is beautiful. T-Boy's there with the Impale, and that is three down. Age is gone, and Maneski's doors and windows there being shut closed. Burnt down to the ground, their house is falling. KP's gonna get slammed into the ground here by Paparazzi. The dive forward and Huskar. Oh, he's gone on Lion. The trouble is there's so many chain stuns that it's a five... Oh, four-man wipe. Sorry, my bad. Mushi is still alive. Run, Mushi. Take care of yourself. TP home. Yeah. E in the middle of four or five here. Gets roared up. There's the RP in the back. Ori's still being focused down, but he's going to get himself away from the Huskar. Skewer in. Catches two or three. And that Magnus, he's stunned up, but he's so damn tanky. Greaves are up in three seconds time. Let's see if he can get it off. Not quite. Now it's the Supernova that's doing the work, as it will land on oh. one HP. One hit away from death. Mirana can't get the job done. And that will be that. A five-man wipe this time around for VG Gaming, as wow. they absolutely slaughter Maneski. I think... Take it down as fast as possible. What, why is everyone tipping paparazzi? Uh, everyone from is tipping paparazzi for some reason. Uh, he could have gone out. He stuck around for too long. Oh, but he'll buy back now. And I think Mineski probably need to open up Word.exe to try and defeat Vici Gaming here because they've lost Moon. He buys back, but they're losing one, two, three. They're falling like flies. Mineski, Mineski, Mineski. Vici Gaming are absolutely dominating you. Yeah, they're T-warding as well outside Roche. All the buybacks coming out, so everyone's still alive but the big spells are still up on the side of Vici Gaming. And Klinks is looking for that split push. He knows. Who have they caught here? Moon. Oh, the tiny die is back. doing it. RP onto two in the back as well. Yang Skewer onto three. And I think this might just be GG. JT gets away until the tree. Oh, oh, tiny. Oh, he's got it. Nice little double tap with the Echo Saber. Poor Wisp. He tried to relocate his friend out, but in the end, he's just going to be reloading out alone and coming back. He does survive, though. Bottom. Um, KP solo I killed Ori there. Uh, I guess he actually did, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Mega kill. Plus, this is Gabe Noise. Thanks for playing Dota 2. Double kill. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Keeping secrets can kill. Double kill. Your actions are without end. A nice little impale out. A good return from White Mon. We'll keep Aviel alive for a second longer, but he's cut through the trees. Here's Ogre. Ogre diving in, and that will be the takedown of the Beastmaster. Now Ramsey's back into lion form again. A good stun towards the Marana. With the Echo on top, they'll turn back and stun Earthshaker, but it's too little too late. Evil's try and extract now the lion and the Io. Is White Mon hiding in the, in the trees very sneakily? Uh, they've got to be able to find him here. And is that just an enchant hope that killed him? Yeah, the, the aftershock killed him. Damn. Wrench Barracks down to half HP. Still with this. RP from Pasha is a massive threat. He's looking for the opening. They're trying to go in onto the Ogre, and Solo will be 
Sent down the river. No one. Dealing with the BKB of Marana now, but the RP handles that superbly. Marana caught with no leaps in her pants down, slapped into the ground, and I think with only Lion and Luna alive, the GG will come. A logic taps out, and VP win game one. Yeah, and uh, they do it in style, picking the techies. He was, uh, I would like to say, instrumental to their victory. He's a little bit upset, though. He's like, that was a kill. Yeah. Mirana's probably going to be, you know, oh, they're going to TP3 top versus Pro, let's bring everyone up here, but no, they're down bottom. Solo fighting White Mon, but the double damage to Kiro gets the upper hand. Slays the Pudge. Is it Logic? Looking Toss. for Roger. Coming in. What's he got? Snowball and Shards. Nice little deterrent there with the Tombstone as they fight the PA. Nice decay, Sunstrike on top, and a Logic gonna pop. There we go. Tombstone kept alive for a little bit longer as Roger battles through. The Snowball will target him. As the double damage, Jakiro still going to work, but Pasha has the perfect line. The trees, the trees are in the way. Avil dies up top to Ramses. There's the takedown for Pasha to find the Jakiro, though. Yeah, that was the black hole used, of course, by Enigma. Just getting that kill as well. That was really close to Pasha getting two kills. Good TP out from uh, Tusk. His life. No, no Ramses. No, so, he, he, no headdress. <laughs> it's a boring item. Bottom lane again. And we're seeing some action. Solo Pudge. Where's the hook? Lines it up. Gets the grab onto a logic. And with Blink Strike down, looks like this is going to be a kill. She's pretty speedy though with the boots up. But the decay will be there. And Roger says good night. Another go with a Sun Strike to follow through. No one is dominating now on this mid lane Invoker. Kiro, lurking around near Roshan, all on his lonesome, out in deep water. That is a very quick kill. Gets a ward down and buys back immediately. Roshan important, of course. And both of these teams looking to contest. Moonlight Shadow from Evos, but first Pro very patiently waiting off to the west. Yeah, patiently. Meanwhile, though, Evos might go up and around here. We'll see how, what they want to do. It's such a fast Roche, you can't get too far away from it. They're just gonna kill it. Look, they go. Already down to 60% HP. Evos positioning, getting ready to go in, but a good black hole from Ramses with a cataclysm on top. Say goodnight, Illogic. Buys back immediately. Tosk will do the same, but they're losing heroes at a drastic rate. Jakiro caught and killed with a great tornado, nearly clipping onto Facehugger's Mirana in the back end of the fight. As who is this? A VL Centaur. Well, well, well. I think this has uh, got something to do with a creek, some shit, and no paddle. Because he has been left all alone. Finally, the backup arrives. Three heroes come in to try and continue this fight, but they lose the Marana buys back, and one by one, they're filtering in. The PA wants to get the Invoker, diving in deep towards the Roshan pit, but jumps the Drown. Now instead, the Hurricane Pike back up high ground, and an Ultra kill for no one. Oh, GG's called, and they tap out. It is over. Yeah, they're trying to buy back and send even more, but they seem... Godlike, 
Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. That was unreal. Killing spree. I won't give up. Dominating, I guess. Hello, this is Gabe Newell. Mega playing Dota 2. More than two kills, but less than four kills. They're unstoppable. Ultra kill. See? And that chain frost was a little unwarranted. And I think Bada. will be fine. He's got the shrine. Okay, no, Zebrick is there with a round brown. Is there any help for Bada coming in? Team? Bada's like, this is a team moment. It's like, team, they're diving me by the shrine. Bada is still alive, and they have indeed turned around, taken two kills. Oh, baby. Oh, my the team is here. I mean, their team is. Uh, oh, Bada. Oh, God, Jeez. give it some more. Oh, no, 33 took away an ultra kill. Dude, this could have been a beautiful rampage for Fada, yeah. and uh, 33 messed it up. So did Ace. Fada some oh my. He's onto the back line as of NIP. Cog, the secondary horn. Look at this scam making the big ball of plays. Straight into the base. He gets dead. himself on top of Ace. Buyback from Saxon, buyback from Fada, buyback from Ace. They need this chase now. Gotta get some kills Cole. here. Make it worth it. If they can get everyone out alive, it's going to be huge, but it needs snaking at the front of it all. Set up into the air. Snaking goes trap, forces out. He gets five of them. With the Echo Slam, Dose gets caught up by the Life Trucker and Fada keeps the distance. And he's still alive, crawling away, but a second X scam chasing down the target as he gets Ace. Ace down for two minutes, no oh, buyback, another cool. side down on the Saxon. Saxon's gone for 155, no buyback, PPD dies, no buyback. But Carl, I think they may have just done it there. Unless something crazy can happen between Fada and 33. Oh, Envy might be in trouble here with that split. They're trying for him. Oh, on top again, hunt. Scam. He's back in. He's on top, and he's got the pop. He takes a third. PPD falls back to the base. There's only the Ogre and the Brew left in this game. Peter's taken out, and Complexity have done it. 81 minutes in. They have taken the game. Uh, you trying just purely for mana, too. Oh, this could be the perfect jump. Limp goes in. They'll go onto the Phoenix the rather than the Terra Blade. Can they beat down Saxon time? They can't. He gets the Supernova off. They will be able to put through it. They get the egg. The overgrowth comes through. As now Ace steps forward with the Metamorphosis. MB graves himself, keeping him alive. And a scam. He's looking for a target. He's keeping his distance, waiting for Limp to come back in with the disable onto the Thunder. Thunder. Ace. Thunder's off, but they have the multicar. Sea Freak with the burst what? brings Ace okay, back no, down. No, Double no, kill no, for no, Scam. They turn towards 33, they've got the vision, the Shadow Wave heal bomb finishes him off. So Fada can now turn with the Tornado, Scam trying to chase down PPD, but Scam is pretty low. They do have that second light to rely on, and Scam will throw his body forward, get himself on top of 33, the tree as the tree falls, buys back straight away from 33. PPD's trying to get back in with the call, he's ticking so low, the right click's coming in, and PPD runs back up with the high ground, but it's not enough to keep him alive. Scam gets the triple kill, and he's not done yet. The bash onto 33, he pulled back for this. 33 will fall, it's an ultra kill for Scam. The grave from Envy keeping him alive, he's still got the Aegis to rely on as there's three dead on NIP, they do not have buybacks. They as have Carl. the meta still. It's an ace spoke. And that right there tells you how that last fight didn't go very well. As they're pushing in. Dominator, the dominator is performing. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. What is this? Radiant are scanning. A bird you had, my fool one. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. A dominating performance. Onage. If you were a millennial. I own a wicked set. Killing spree. That's as good you've been to me. Come to that. Mega kill. Double kill. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. 
of course the bounties as well coming up. Flash. Oh, pop it. He's gonna jump forward, but he gets Nightman. He should get the bugs out onto the three, the and hole. then the boat comes crashing through, but the egg's off in time! Can they kill the egg on Pasha? The hole! Comes <laughs> in! Gets the four-man black hole! And the fight is over! Secret! They've lost four! They've lost five! That's the play that we're talking about. Pash a little bit up top. Secret are still around this area of the map. Puppy. Roger. Potentially starts to be off. The Primer Split's going to come through. Roger puts the Shiva's Guard, goes for the ult. Trying to take his egg down. They're bringing in the PL. All the up is coming in. Can they get the egg? They can't. The egg's successful. They're going to be able to burst down Nisha. Now they turn their attention towards mid one. Mid one trying to double gang away, but he's been disarmed. Meteor comes down. Won't connect with mid one. Another double. Another turn. The Telekinesis. They grab no one. He's out for two minutes. Well, he's dead no for two minutes. Thanks Solo's dead as well. <laughs> with no buyback on the Invoker. No buyback on Pasha's Magnus. This is going to be game over, I think. There's no yeah. terrible can't buy back. But Mibwon just picking up an ultra. They have to defend a three. I don't think they can pop. There's no Magnus. There's no Invoker. And Secret, they've got the full five man ready to go as they made the call to make that jump. And no, he, I don't, he didn't get the BKB off. He did no, get the BKB, he, but it's just so short at this point of the yeah, game. He just gets shredded. One just, lift yeah. and gets surrounded by Gigi. It's dead. over. And they just GG. Game yeah, over. GG. What an incredibly like back and forth Woo. game. Woo. Secret able to do it here. Game two. And almost outside of range of that Supernova stun. So he's able to turn and start the put. Top in mid, though. Forward. And that was that absolutely nice. everything. I mean, I mean they still have trio, but they, they use absolutely everything else. BP, they are just pushing as a four man, but it's still a face recall. And a solo gets the call onto the two of them. Jump ball from Ramses. He's got the bash to take down the Monkey King, but Mibon has a buyback. He'll buy back. Punch comes in. Nisha get in position to do the big stuff. He's got the slow down onto the Husker. Do they have the physical to beat him down? They're focusing no one. Can they kill that? Can they kill him? They kill him? Oh, they can! They killed no one! They've got an overgrowth, but they've lost mid one. It's a die back on the Monkey King. And Husker, no one, he has got all the money in the world to buy back with him. He certainly will. The Ancient in trouble as well as the creeps are starting to beat down upon him. But they killed him. They, they finally did. got the Husker. They but... managed to do what was potentially impossible. They killed the Husker. But now it's time. It's go time again. BP, they just they, want to end this one. They know that there's no mid one Monkey King for these seconds. It's a long time. He is the majority of that magic damage. And the call comes out, they've got the high ground they vision. They found Puppy, Puppy's out now as well with that buyback. Two dead, only three left to hold. VP, ready to push on. Found success once again, it seems, with the Husker. The big jump there as he comes in on and top the of the die, takes down the Phoenix. Zai does manage to get the Rolling Thunder onto the end. Does come across as well, onto another. Zai with the Swashbuckle trying to buy Roger, but there's GG indeed. As BP take the game, take the series. The power of the Husker. And I, I think it's going to be a long time till we see a team fight as well as Secret did against such a, a, an almost impossible draft to play against, impossible lanes to play against. They really gave it their all.